going to show you how to pit olives. And I know that you can buy them pre-pitted. But call me crazy, but I actually don't like the taste of pre-pitted olives. I mean, think about it. Olives that have had their central stone removed in advance. They're sitting in a jar of brine. So they're hollow. So the brine actually penetrates the olive meat in a much more assertive way than had they been whole and, you know, packed in that same brine. So I prefer to pit my own olives, and it's a very easy procedure, so I'd like to show you how to do it. It's, um, the, the procedure's the same with all black ripe olives. Green olives are a little tough because they're unripe, so you need to actually just take a paring knife and slice the flesh off of the stone. But when it comes to either oil cured or Kalamata olives, Nisoise olives, all of these ripe black olives, it's very, very simple. I'm gonna actually put my, put my glasses on here so I can see what I'm doing. All you do is you take uh, the blade of a knife and you put it on top of the olive and you just press down gently, not hard. It's like you can almost hear the pop of the flesh as it pulls away from the stone. And then all you do is take the knife and just go right around the side, open it up like that, and see how easy the pit comes off? When you're gonna be pitting, let's say you're making a tapenade, you know, an olive spread, and you're pitting a lot of olives, and you're separating the olive flesh from the pits, make sure you concentrate because I have had some pits in my food processor when I've made these things, and what a racket. Trust me, pay attention when you're pitting your olives. Then what you want to do is all you do is you take your knife blade and you slice them just like that and add it like that if you want to chop it, of course. So that's all there is to pitting olives. Not a big deal, is it? I don't think so. 